Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, coming back with another vlog. Today we are going to remove the SRT pages. Remove the SRT pages from my 2016 Challenger Scat Pack. There she is, sitting there looking all beautiful. Look at her. A lot of you probably clicked on this video wondering why is he getting rid of the SRT pages. The Taser mod's awesome, everybody loves it. Um, a better way of me explaining why I'm getting rid of it would be to explain why I got it in the first place. A lot of these newer cars have active exhaust. So they have valves in them that open and close to regulate the sound that's coming out of them so it's not too loud for environmental reasons. So the only way to actually control them on the Challenger is by putting it in track mode. In track mode, the valves are always open, which is what I would like for it to be. But you can only put it in track mode if you have the SRT or up, or if you use the taser to put the SRT pages on your scat pack or your RT to allow you access to track mode. So that's the entire reason that I did the taser mod in the first place. Now what I didn't realize, and I probably would have known if I did a little bit of research before I had a friend do it for me, is that you lose the functionality of your sport button. Now, if you're like me, I drive my car hard. Like I didn't get a big 6.4 liter V8 to drive it like a Prius. So anytime I'm in my car, I put it in sport mode. But instead of just hitting my button really quick, I have to go through a menu, I have to wait for the menu to load, and then I have to put it in sport mode. So before, I would hop in my car, I would hit the sport button, and I was good to go. Now, whenever I get in my car, I have to hit super track pack, I have to wait for the page to load up, and then I have to choose the mode that I want to be in. You see how much difference, how much of a difference that makes? It's not just get in, hit a button, I'm good to go. I have to get in, I have to select what I want, and then I'm good to go. Plus, I have to wait for the page to load, which it doesn't sound like it's a lot, but when you do it every single time you get out of your car, every time you turn the car off, it goes back to default. So waiting for that every single time, it's just kind of annoying. Now, some of the things that you did get whenever you did the SRT pages was valet mode and eco mode, which I can't use eco mode because I have a manual transmission that's only available in automatics. And valet mode just makes it where you can put in a password and it limits the horsepower for if somebody else is driving your car or you get in a valet part. Well, I don't let anybody else drive my car and I only used valet mode once just to see what it was. It was pretty lame to be honest. Um, another one of the differences now, instead of the performance pages, you have SRT pages, and we're just going to wait for it to load here. See, now it says SRT performance pages. There's actually not any difference to my knowledge. The font's a little different. Um, the gauges are all the same. The G-Force is all the same, and you can still see your engine horsepower and torque just the same as if it wasn't SRT pages. Another difference that I don't like is... Whenever I start my car up, it says Challenger. Before when I started my car up, I had the Super B and it did a little animation where it ran away and it was really cool. It let, it's something unique about the scat packs. So I'll show you all that once I once my friend actually gets here and gets rid of this these SRT pages for me. But I don't know, it's those slight little things that I really just did not like about it. SRT pages are officially gone. I got the Scat Pack Bumblebee back. Oh, and we can't forget, sport mode, as soon as I hit the button, it's beautiful. I still got the performance pages. They're just, oh, that's the wrong button. Let's see, let's see. Right there beside it, I'm an idiot. Still got the performance pages. The font's just a little bit different which I don't mind, that doesn't mean anything. Everything's pretty much the same, different font. Now when I hit my super track pack button, I don't get drive modes, I get everything. Launch control, I can turn the shift light on and off, and I can set up my drive mode. So sport mode set up, everything's already in sport, there's nothing I need to change there. Default mode set up, nothing but I'd move the steering to normal, and I'm good to go. Now, I figure a lot of you are wondering, 
You got the taser. You wanted your exhaust to be louder. That's what you got. And now you got rid of it. What are you going to do? So I actually found this site called ActiveExhaustSolutions.com. I actually found it in Workplay Drive's uh, video comments. And they sell a little kit where basically this thing right here, um, it mimics your exhaust valve opening and closing so that your computer thinks that it is opening and closing, but it's actually not. So it should be here tomorrow, maybe the next day at the latest. And I'll probably do a quick installation video for you. If you guys want to see it, check it out. But yeah, at exhaustsolutions.com. If you Google them, they're like number two on the page and pretty reasonably priced. I actually did look online, look at a bunch of forums and stuff for other solutions to actually ordering that mod that you just saw me show you guys. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Just like the last video, only like seven of y'all are going to watch it anyway, so who would sponsor me, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, you can pull the little circuit breaker or you can just take the, in the little motor out itself, but both of those solutions are going to give you a check engine light. This is the, it's not the only solution that I found, but it is the best and most price effective solution that I found so I figured why not go ahead and order it um, like I said I'll be doing a probably installation video but definitely at least a review video for you guys to check it out see if it was worth it and maybe put it in your cars anyway it's been a great day great video hope to keep them coming for you peace